It is uh, Vlogmas day 11. Um, it's a nice day today. It's about, I think, 65 degrees outside, but it's really windy, so I don't think I'd be able to do any vlogging uh, like on my walk. So instead, I thought this would be a good day to do kind of a gym tour. I don't think I've ever gone through the gym and, and talked about all the equipment that I have, some old, some new. Uh, so yeah, that's my plan for today. So I think I'll just go around the room and talk about all the pieces of equipment. Starting right here. This is uh, my Smith machine. I bought this off Craigslist from somebody uh, the, the beginning of this year, beginning of 2021. Um, in general, I like it. It's, it's, it's nice. It's a, it's, it's a solid piece of equipment. I do like uh, being able to do, um, you know, un unassisted bench press and you can do some, you know, some squatting and uh, deadlifts, that sort of thing. That's why I have those two wooden blocks to be able to do uh, deadlifts. But I think in general, I would prefer to have a free weight squat rack. So I think eventually I'm gonna end up selling this. Also the bench, uh, while it's nice, it, 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 it can go up to a pretty high incline, but it does not go decline very far. So that's one of the big drawbacks to the bench. I do have over here, this is a, Creature curl attachment, which yeah, goes like that. So I do like that aspect of it, being able to do preacher curls. Uh, but overall, not a super huge fan of the bench. Moving on, this is a hack squat. I bought this a couple months ago. This is one of the big things I've been I've been waiting to set up in my gym and be able to use. Of course, now I hurt my back, so I have not really used this at all. Uh, but it, it doubles as a um, squat and leg press. So right now it's set up in leg press mode. Um, not gonna demonstrate it just with my back, but you would, you would sit down there, that's the backrest, and then you would press here. This, this is the plate that you would press on against. Uh, in order to do the hack squat, you would just uh, lift up so you lift up the, the backrest, this flips down, and then you can actually uh, do squats that way. So of course, with my back the way it is, I haven't been able to do this, so uh, yeah. Kind of bummed about that, but someday. Uh, hidden back in the back here, I have a seven foot bar. And that's what I'd like to use with free weights if I can ever uh, get to that. Moving on, this I also picked up a couple months ago. It's a tricep push down machine. So um, I, I usually use it sitting, uh, you know, with, your, with my back up against the backrest. That's I think the way it was designed to be used. But I also realized that if I turn around and kind of uh, bend forward, I can simulate a dip. And that way I can basically do dips without dipping my whole body weight, uh, which I, can't do right now. So yeah, this kind of doubles as a as a tricep push down and kind of almost like an assisted uh, dip so you don't have to dip your whole body weight. I love this, love this machine. This machine I've used in many of my videos. This is probably 20 years old at this point. It's a um, kind of like universal cable machine. It's got a low cable, pull, high cable, um, you know, it's, you can convert this from being able to do um, like uh, kind of seated uh, flies, like a peck, peck deck. You can change these pins, basically take this one out, lock it in place and do a seated bench press that way. The cables are, mm, you know, they're plastic coated cables. Uh, they're getting kind of broken. The plastic is breaking off, but I don't think the cable is fraying anywhere. So. Um, it still works, it still works. Um, yeah, I think I'll be able to use this for a bunch more years. Next up is another machine that I purchased uh, just a couple months ago. I got that at the same time as I got the tricep push down machine, got them from the same person. This is a uh, combination shoulder press and also lateral raise. So there's a pin, you can, you can do, you know, shoulder press, then you just, you can just pin the shoulder press bar up out of the way and, and then do uh, lateral raises. The thing is, uh, I don't know if I can just demonstrate this very well, but 
th these arms are at a really weird angle. Like, it, it, it feels like they should be out further. And just the other day, I was looking at this. This is, this is how I bought this. This is how the guy had this set up when I bought it. I think these arms are on the wrong side. I think they, I think, you know, this should be over there. They should be swapped. Um, it's a little strange with the padding. I think the padding actually could fit on this side. If it, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna switch it right now. I'm gonna switch it right now and uh, see if it works better. So after switching the arms around and the pads, this is definitely the way it's supposed to be. The, you know, the, the, the pads were, were angled, they were angled this way before, and it really wasn't a natural feel. Now with them angled like out, um, it's definitely more natural. Also, the weight um, bar used to be pointing down, like, like the weights would just slip off. I mean, they have you know locks you can put on, uh, but now you can see, they're they're actually angled up a little bit so i just this is definitely the way it's supposed to be uh yeah definitely anyway that's my lateral raise slash um overhead press really like this machine too uh, moving on to the next exercise bike um yeah i've got some plans for putting a tv in here just to make it a little bit more um, you know, enjoyable to sit on the bike. I probably won't be using this until I do that. Here is my dumbbell set. I have, let's see, just I'll run through the weights real quick. So starting on, well, okay, back up a second. These, um, these racks I, I picked up at Walmart. I think they're like $30 each. They're, they're good, they, they're sturdy, but as you can see, they don't really hold the dumbbells well because of the um, the brakes in between. So here's a pair of 25s. Next up is 30. I can't fit this 30. It doesn't. Well, I guess it does kind of fit. It doesn't really fit comfortably, easily. So I was kind of moving this one over here. I don't know. It's. I mean, it serves a purpose. I don't really think I need anything else, but. So, dumbbells, I've got uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 on the bottom. They're, I put the light ones on the bottom because it's easier to pick up that way. 25, 30, 35, 40, then 50, and 60. Anyway, this is pretty much all the dumbbells I need for right now. Um, I, you know, Eventually, I think I probably could go higher than 60 uh, for dumbbell press especially, but uh, for now, this covers everything I need. Moving on again, this is a, um, a dip station slash leg raise machine. I've had this for probably 20 years as well. It has a pull-up bar that connects to these two um, uh, you know, posts, uh, but it, it just easily uh, unbolts, um, which I did not realize until I set things up in here. Uh, but this is really, you know, it just, it, it was too tall. The pull-up bar was too tall for the ceiling in the basement. But this way I can get a dip machine in. I will be coming very close to hitting my head on either the ceiling or that pipe. But um, at least I could do leg raises. Uh, I'm not doing either of those right now with the condition of my back. So that's gonna have to wait a little bit. Um, the only other thing I have here is my rowing machine. This is gonna be like the bike where I probably won't be using it until I get like a TV set up in here to make it more enjoyable. Um, that's pretty much it. The only other thing, I have a, I have a rack here. This is my um, a hex bar that I, that I use for um, you know, doing some, some squatting, but mostly shrugs, and a couple other um, curl bars as well. So that's, that's pretty much it. That's my gym tour. Um, again, a couple things I still would like to, to change. I would like to probably eventually sell this Smith machine and get a free weight um, squat slash bench rack. 
I'd have to get one that's probably like a half rack or something because the ceilings, the ceiling here can't uh, take a, a full rack, the height of the full rack. Um, I'm not in a super big hurry to do that. Also, don't think I'd have the room to add, to like add the weight rack in here. It's gonna have to take the place of this one. So I'd have to sell this one and, and, buy, and buy another one. The only other piece of equipment that I really would like to get eventually, I think is a calf raise, a seated calf raise machine. I've tried them in the past. I really, really, really like doing seated calf raises. Um, I can do calf raises on the, uh, the Smith machine and I could probably also do calf uh, presses on, on the hack squat. Uh, but I, ju I just really like um, the seated uh, seated calf raise, and you know I could probably find one that's not too big. I'm pretty sure I could find a place to put it in here. So yeah, that's my gym tour for now. I still have a lot of work to do. Uh, the walls, you know, I, I only put one coat of spackle on. Um, I wanted to, you know, paint those eventually. Um, maybe put some molding in. Um, not sure if I'm going to go like mirrors and and that kind of stuff, um, but. I would like to set up a stereo with speakers, put a TV, maybe a projector instead of a TV. I've got wall space now. I can, um, I'm thinking maybe a projector. Glad I did that finally. A lot of people have asked about my gym. That's my gym. Now, as long as my back would just hurry up and heal, I could get down here and use it more.